We're, we're told that we should trust the science. So here's the science on this. According to the University of California, wildfire emissions in 2020 alone were twice as high as the state's entire greenhouse gas reductions between 2003 and 2019. In fact, wildfires were the second biggest source of carbon dioxide emissions in California in 2020. You know, I've asked the ranking member before, can he not see how self-contradictory and self-destructive his policies uh, have, have been, uh, even uh, to, to, to the cause of reducing carbon dioxide emissions? Nearly 1.8 billion tons of carbon dioxide were released due to forest fires just in 2021 alone. That's nearly three times the projected reductions in 2030 based on the Inflation Reduction Act's claims. Three times. Uh, Stephen Moore uh, 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 summed it up this way. Rather than shutting down American energy, forcing people to buy electric vehicles, holding 35 international climate change conferences, banning gas stoves and air conditioners, killing hundreds of thousands of cows, spending hundreds of billions of dollars on uneconomical wind and solar farms, imposing massive green taxes on the economy, and hitting the great reset on the world industrial economy, which would cause massive global poverty, why don't the politicians just devise a way to manage forests better? That's a very important question that I believe that this, this legislation answers. Uh, 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 the uh, Wall Street Journal uh, just uh, ran an article uh, called uh, That Smoke, Not Climate Change by Mary Anastasio O'Grady. Uh, and in it, she quotes what we just heard back today from different sources, Biden calling uh, uh, Canada another stark reminder of the impacts of climate change, uh, uh, Justin Trudeau joining the chorus. Um, and she writes this, their claims are bunk. A 2020 study, Trends in Canadian Forest uh, Fires, 1959 to 2019, found that, quote, there was a sharp increase in destruction caused by forest fires in the first half of that 60-year period and a general decline in the second half. The study, published by the Vancouver-based Fraser Institute, reported that, uh, quote, the all-time peak of fire activity in 1989 involved some 7.6 million hectares burned, while the most recent national data show only 1.8 million hectares fires uh, burned in 2019. Fire activity varied significantly across the country. Whereas Alberta had its second highest fire loss in 2019, 1981 was its worst, uh, in the Prairie Provinces, peak fire activity occurred several decades ago. In the East, levels of forest fire activity were steady. In fact, uh, I'd like to ask unanimous consent uh, to insert into uh, the record uh, the Fraser Institute's uh, report on this. It's entitled, Canada's Burning Because of Bad Forest Policy, Not Climate Change. <laughs> those Without are, objection, so Those ordered. are the facts, and as Adams once said, facts can be stubborn things. Um, I remind my colleagues, only you can prevent forest fires. Maybe, maybe not all of them. But I can say with confidence that this bill will minimize many forest fires and save many communities from the catastrophe visited on towns like Grizzly Flats. And by the way, it will also reduce carbon emissions caused by catastrophic wildfire. Please, let's not waste any more time or any more lives or any more property. I yield back.